Hi, I'm Erin Palmer, Team Racine Productions co-host and moderator. And I'm Tiffany Green-Williams, Team Racine Productions co-host and moderator. Joining us are the co-hosts of the Cocktails and Culture podcast. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Hi, you for having us. Hi. Yes, thank you so much for having us. Thank you both for joining us. Before we talk about your podcast, please introduce yourselves and tell the viewers a little bit about your background and who you are. Brigitte, we'll start with you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brigitte, and like you guys said, I'm the co-host of Cocktails and Culture podcast. Um, I am actually originally from Syracuse, New York, so upstate where it's pretty cold. Um, and I've been here in DC for about five years or so. Um, and as far as background about myself, um, I am a senior publicist at a PR firm. So I work with lots of cool brands, doing brand strategy and marketing, um, just like all things culture um, and consumer packaged goods. So that is kind of me. I am a lover of fashion. Um, I love reality TV, obviously, because of the show, of our podcast. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like me in a nutshell. All things culture, fashion, music. That's me. And Ben, I'll let you go. Guys, hi, y'all. My name is Benjamin Coy. Uh, I am originally from Florida, but I'm based now in the D.C. area also. Uh, I'm a content creator, digital strategist, and the communications marketing campaign manager for the National LGBTQ Task Force. Um, so all of my work is based in communications and marketing, uh, content creation. Um, I'm also a lover of fashion, which is how Brigitte and I have connected in so many different ways. Uh, reality TV is a, a certain love of mine as well. Um, but I'm certainly passionate about just visibility, representation, and intersectionality in so many different ways. Um, and I love that I'm able to chat about that and yap about that with one of my closest friends on our show. So happy to be here. Thank you all for having us. We're so excited to have you. And first off, we would love to talk about how each of you ended up living in D.C. and how you met each other. Yeah. yeah. So um... Go ahead. Um, so I, like I said, I've been here for about five years, um, and that's where I moved to DC. I actually moved for a job, um, and as the, I'm still at the same company that I came, moved to DC for. Um, so I came there as a, an intern about five years ago for a PR internship, and things kind of kicked off from there. Um, and I kind of just started working throughout. I have some family here, um, so that was great. But that's kind of how I got to DC. I've always loved DC and visited um, throughout the years in college, but um, something just kind of brought me here. I love the city. Uh, and that's kind of how I got there. Um, and then as far as me and Ben meeting, we actually met, met through a mutual friend, um, our friend Heavenly. Um, so we actually met through her. They both were going to graduate school together. And me and Ben kind of casually met at like a game night or something we had. And I don't know, it just was like, we just kind of collided like four years ago. and. Now we have a Cutters Cutter podcast. That's exactly what happened, honestly and truly. I moved for graduate school in 2020 in the midst of everything that was happening. And uh, I was looking for a community. And so I met my friend Heavenly in our program uh, because she was also an HBCU grad. And so we had that connection there. Um, and then like Brigitte said, she had a taco night, taco game night, something like that. I don't know, Brigitte made tacos and it was delicious. <laughs> Um, and then from there, we had such a wonderful time. Um, like I said, it really just, our friendship really grew from, from that evening. So, yeah. That's really awesome. Okay. So you guys just kind of met at a party, but how did the podcast start and who named it? Yeah. So uh, we met in 2020 and I think all throughout 2021, of course, uh, we would see each other every now and again. But then I ended up relocating and moving into the same building as Brigithia. And then we connected even like even more. Um, and we started just talking about all the stuff that we love, fashion, reality TV, pop culture. And one day, Brigithia texted me and was like, hey, you just start a podcast and bring other folks into these riveting conversations that we have. And that was really how history was made. Um, as far as where did the name come from, Brigitte and I love a good cocktail. Uh, <laughs> love to go sit down and have a wonderful cocktail and yap over a nice lemon drop. Uh, so that's really how it came. Um, just bringing together a place to chill, relax, have a cocktail, 
or a mocktail and also talk with your favorite libation legends about what's going on in pop culture. Amazing. Yeah. And I think definitely during that time frame, um, when pandemic was kind of like, I guess you could say it was leaving, it was kind of an escape for both of us to be able to just truthfully talk about the things that we enjoy and to give people a breath of fresh air. Um, a lot of our guests that come, come on our show, they always say like, I just got a chance to just escape for a second. Like they felt good. They can feel our natural energy. Like we're actual friends in real life. Like we're not just like doing it for the podcast. Um, so we're actually real friends. So like, I think people can just feel our energy and the connection. And um, that's why I think people have been enjoying it thus far. Well, we can certainly sense that the vibes are right. Um, part of why we were excited to interview both of you. Do you have a favorite episode, something that showcases this synergy that the two of you have together? Um, I I mean, I have a few probably, but um, I think I have two. The first one is, um, it was called um, Mercury is in Microbrains. <laughs> and it was just like during a time of pop culture, where it was so much craziness happening. And you, if you guys are like the retrograde and all that stuff people talk about um but we um that episode was just so crazy the the promotion for it was so fun and people were so enjoyed it so much we had such a great time um of course we love all of our guests that come on um but one of my favorite ones was with um Blake Newby and Tahira Foster they're both um influencers and um we just all kind of naturally gravitated and like we had a great conversation about fashion and culture and really got to know them a little bit more um outside of their like internet personas um so that was another one of my favorite episodes personally yeah um there are so many we're in season three right now and we just uh shared our episode 10 of season three so there are so many episodes for us to choose from but i would also i have two i'm sorry okay the first one would be uh, our season finale of season one, we invited a panel of our closest friends yeah. to come and just chat. And I think for me, or I don't want to speak for, Be for Begithia, but for me, that was the moment where I realized like what this could grow into. Um, we had such a wonderful time. And I think that episode is still one of my favorites because of how easy the conversation went, how candid everyone was. Um, and so definitely, if you have a chance, go back and watch all the episodes. But definitely catch up on the season one finale. Um, and that was also just a beautiful wrap of what has grown into where we are now. Um, but I'd say my most recent favorite episode is sitting down with Preston Mitchum uh, from Summer House Martha's Vineyard. Um, that conversation, being able to bring on another person who shares the same identities as me um, was really powerful. And I'm really honored to have had the opportunity to sit down and chat with him and that he even thought it not a robbery to come and pour up with us. Um, so so many episodes to choose from, but those two are definitely some of my tops right now. Nice. I'm so glad you said the one with Preston because that's my favorite. Ah, oh, yes. And Tiffany was on there as well, y'all. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> With Green the best Williams fashion. Of, yeah, talking about yeah. fashion. <laughs> so, y'all, of course, we have so many episodes, honey. So we, yeah. we love it. We love it for real. Yes, I had a ball. Um, but yes, so what are some things that you've learned as podcast co-hosts? And what is your advice for people who may want to host their own podcast? Um, I would say something that I learned is like balance. Um, well, I mean, it's hard to balance in general, but just kind of figuring out because me and Ben do both work in like the comms and media space professionally. Um, so it is sometimes like a, a struggle to like, because we're always on with work and then also doing the podcast, which we're also interested in. And um for me at least being a publicist like a lot of times you are in the background and I am helping other people kind of create their brands versus me being in front of the camera um which I mean I love if you know me I love a good picture I love, I'm always the friend that's like saying record myself <laughs> but um you know being in front of the camera is just different yes. and hearing yourself talk in front of the camera and all that stuff so I think for me I think I always so been like I feel like he, I would have the conversations with him about the stuff that we had, but Ben, I feel like he's so great at that. And I feel like I learned a lot from him in that space because I think he just dominates the camera. He's great at interviewing people and all that. And I had a little taste of it, but again, I'm more so 
you know, the publicist behind the scenes, making sure like my clients are good, making sure like, and I think um, this really helped me to like kind of be in front of the camera a little bit more um, and being the talent. So as, as far as any advice that I personally would have, it would just be to just give yourself some time to like plan creative things. Sometimes it can get hard with balancing career and extracurricular things that you're working on, but just give yourself a chance to like, get fresh thinking. Sometimes you may need to step away, take a break. You know, we can't do everything. We can't cover everything, but just give yourself that breathing room to really think freely and have some creative, um, creative juices and kind of working together. So that's what I would say. So like, yeah. I would honestly reteach and reshare that. Uh, I feel the same way. I would also add um, the importance of your boundaries and in every single way. I mean, boundaries with your professional life, boundaries with your personal life, boundaries with uh, the creative aspect, but also to never forget, like if you are specifically, if you are, if you have a co-host uh, who is your best friend or actually any of your co-hosts, you need to make sure that you have time outside of the podcast to just have a great time. Like, of course, we have this podcast and we are business partners in a sense. But as she shared earlier, me and Brigithia are still friends, like still very much best friends, brother and sister. Like, that's my girl. That's my home girl. And so we're very intentional about making sure that we have time to build on our own friendship, but also build on uh, this wonderful podcast that we're bringing. Because, again, our friendship is or the energy that our friendship exudes, I think is what really helps our podcast be as fabulous, in my opinion, yeah. as it is. Mm -hmm. um, and so we wanna make sure that we continue to hone that and continue just loving each other. Um, and so, yeah, I would add that as yeah. well. And also another point, oh, you wanna say something for you, No, I was just gonna piggyback off what you were saying to like, sometimes when we, because we're actually friends and like, sometimes if one of us can't be 100% for whatever reason, like we may have, Cause like, listen, life is real. Like things are happening. We may have a busy schedule of the work or something going on, but like when I can't be 100%, Ben is able to show up and bring the extra and the same with me. So I think that's what helps us. Cause we know that we're not always going to be like, life happens, things happen, but just being realistic with that, especially if you're doing it with a joint, um, with a person or with more, more than one, um, definitely just being realistic with like life and showing up for each other when we can't really be like 100% for whatever reason. Right. And the very last thing I'll say, if you're starting from the start, just starting a podcast is just to start it, just get out there. Um, you have all the tools probably already in your pocket. You just need a, a something to record your voice, a distributor, which is super easy through Spotify. Start the podcast. Don't get so wrapped up in making it perfect. Our very first yeah. episode, we filmed the entire we filmed the entire episode, but the camera was not on, the mic was not on, and we had to go back and do it all over again. <laughs> so just get started, okay? Just just yeah. get started. That's a win in itself. <laughs> it's such yeah. good advice. Setting boundaries, cultivating your friendships, and just taking that step to do it. This is expert yeah. advice. I'm taking notes myself. <laughs> Please tell our viewers how they can listen to the podcast, learn more about each of you, and find out what's upcoming. Yeah, so you can follow us everywhere. We are on Instagram. We're on, oh Lord, we're on Instagram, we're on X, we're on TikTok. And uh, you can find our social media there. Um, we also have a super, super exciting live show coming up. We're so blessed to, have being, to be able to partner with the DC bloggers uh, to bring Cocktails and Culture podcast live at La Cosecha in DC. This is happening on Saturday, September 21st from 12 to 2 p.m. M. again at La Cosecha that's down in Union Market. You can get tickets either going to our social media and uh, find the link there or you can go to Eventbrite and search DC Bloggers and Cocktails and Culture Podcasts. And of course, we are streaming everywhere that you stream your podcast on Apple Music, on Spotify, Amazon Music, and you can watch us on YouTube. So make sure you stream and follow. Amazing. Looking forward to checking you guys out more. Viewers, please look in the description below for links. Thank you both for joining us today. We had a fabulous time talking to you. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. To those watching, please follow Team Racine on social media and subscribe to the Team Racine YouTube channel. Viewers, 
Thank you for watching.